So before this video starts, just wanted to apologize for the quality that you are going to see. Um, I filmed everything great, went great, and then the file wouldn't convert, so what I had to do was upload it to YouTube and then download it off, to, off of YouTube. So the quality just got, like, diminished. So um, you can still make everything out, it's just not in HD or anything like that. So hope you guys like the video. Sorry again. Subscribe, follow me, all that great stuff. See you again. What's up guys? Colton here, that tech guy, and today I'm going to give you a, an overview and review of Google's new YouTube app for the iPhone and the iPod Touch. Now it hasn't been optimized for the iPad yet, but I'm sure they'll get right on that. So without further ado, let's take a look at this new app. Sorry, 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 sorry. So, as many of you may know, uh, Apple got rid of their um, YouTube app with iOS 6 due to a dispute with Google, which is why they don't have Google Maps anymore and they made their own. Um, but Google did release a their own uh, YouTube app through the App Store. And it was released a couple weeks before iOS 6, which kind of gave people who didn't have the uh, beta version a little sneak peek as to what was to come in iOS 6. So when you first open it up, I already have changed the settings, but it'll default to um, your uploads and then also highlights of uh, your other subscribe um, subscribers on uh, YouTube. So I changed it to just uploads because honestly, as much as I love the people I'm subscribed to, I don't want to see what they're liking and commenting on all the time. But it's kind of like Facebook in a way. You uh, pull down over here and it brings you your profile at the top, then settings, then you can add channels. And then right here, your home feed, which is what you have it like set to, your uploads or highlights. And then um, scroll down here, it's all the people you're subscribed to, so you can go to uh, their channel and upload it. So when you go to someone's, uh, well, when you go to your own prof profile, I must say, um, tells you how many subscribers you have. Only have 10 subscribers, guys. What's the deal with that? Subscribe to my channel at Tuncold12, that tech guy. You'll see all my great stuff. Um, then it has your uploads, playlists, uh, purchases, history, watch later, and your favorites. And it'll basically just uh, give you a list down of all your uploads and tell you how many views, just like a regular YouTube online. I don't have any playlists, so can't really go to that one right now. Your history, and then watch later, and your favorites. You know, just go to favorites real quick. And it just gives you a list like that, um, just like your uploads would. Um, for settings, the only thing you can really change in settings is your home feed and your filtering when you search for something. So nothing that really special in settings also gives you um, some help and send feedback to YouTube of their app. Um, so as I mentioned before, your home feed um, just gives you... Um, all the people you're subscribed to and gives you um, their most recent uploaded video. And then if you go to um, someone's, uh, uh, what's it called, <laughs> profile, you can go to Fishy15 here, um, tells you to subscribe to them, tells you how many subscribers they have, tells you what they liked in their feed, you can go to their videos, um, see what they just uploaded, um, go to their playlists even, and that's all his playlists right there. Um, so let's go back up to my profile. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> go back up to my profile, and we'll look at my um, most recent upload. Um, give me some ideas. You guys got to give me some ideas on some videos I got to do. See what you want. 
but it'll give you a subscribe button right there and subscribe right to their channel. Video will start loading up here just like it would in the um, iPad um, app beforehand um, when it wasn't there anymore. Um, and then you can also get a link to their channel, read the description right below, um, see how many likes it's got, go to the next tab over, it gives you suggested videos, um, and then gives you comments, no comments on this video, but give you stuff like that. And then one more thing on here, the um, search feature is actually um, pretty cool. Uh, go right here, you can search um, just like that, or I'm pretty sure it's through Google Voice. Um, you can tap and uh, use your voice to search for a video. So let's try that out. We'll search, just search for Apple. Apple. And it'll come up, obviously, with their channel, with their most recent videos. And then you can also see channels through Apple. Um, so that pretty much does it for uh, the YouTube app. I'm kind of, I'm not going to say I'm disappointed with it, but it could definitely be improved upon, like get to your inbox and stuff like that. So for right now, I'm probably going to stick with um, YouTube online just because they have a great mobile app system. Um, but uh, I'm sure they'll update it and make it a lot better. I haven't tried out any other YouTube apps on the App Store just because I'm not one to uh, waste money um, on uh, certain apps that it says it does and then it doesn't and then you get it and you're disappointed. So um, I might try out some free other YouTube apps but for the ones like the number ones on the App Store for YouTube I'm sure they're great if people are buying it. So that does it for this video. Um, if you like this video, give it a like, uh, give it a comment, subscribe to my channel to see uh, my future stuff. Um, follow me on Twitter at, at tuncole 12 or at TechFastTech, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot.